y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. Hey, so it worked. The rice and toast work. Um, anybody who ever got a stomach who that you know you have one of them situations where it just don't want to stop. Remember the abbreviation brat. Cause your booty be in a brat. <laughs> so just, it is, you eat bananas or rice or applesauce. I couldn't remember what the A was last time. Or um, toast. And I ate, y'all saw rice and toast and I ate some ice. And um, it worked. Stomach salad back up. Haven't been to the bathroom no more. I feel better, still a little tired because you know I haven't been eating like that. Um, but yeah. Oh, and all that noise, sorry, I had to turn off the YouTube real quick. Y'all know that's all I watch is YouTube, so. But yeah, I am dressed. I actually stayed in the bed, let's say. Okay, I got here the 18th. I was supposed to go out, like I told y'all, go outside and stuff go get in the pool but I fell asleep because I wasn't feeling good from that day before then all of a sudden no I'm saying that wrong no I'm saying that right the 18th and then the 19th I stayed in bed all day all day because my stomach was on like a hundred and I wasn't eating or drinking anything I just wanted to stop and then I um, what happened? Then the 20th, I was in bed for half the day. Then all of a sudden, I was going to go out and I was going to, you know, that's when I ate all the rice and stuff, the rice and toast. That's the only meal I had to solid up and made my, my belly feel better. And I was going to take a nap, wake up at three, go to the pool and get on the hammock but then all of a sudden it started raining and my back was turned to the window so I didn't even know it was raining until I heard something go boom and it's like a big car crash y'all there thunder here sounds like car crashes and it almost put me in a whole nother mode like I jumped so hard I was breathing so hard like I had to catch my breath but um yeah so I didn't get to get in the pool Actually, this hotel is actually very nice. It's beautiful. I showed y'all. I walked around and showed y'all what it looks like. So basically, I used this hotel as a rest place. That's what I did. Like I always said, there's nothing wrong with that, y'all. You don't have to go somewhere every hotel you go to. Sometimes, some people just get hotel rooms just to get out of town and just to sit in a hotel room and not be home. I have met many people who say they do that. But y'all, I soon I'll be um, getting picked up um, at like 11.30 tonight by my driver, my very first driver I had that I kept in contact with. He gonna get me back to the airport because I'm in Costa Rica, but I'm in Coco, that part. And it's about three and a half hours away from the airport that I fly out of. So he's gonna be here about 11.30, something like that. And then um, we're gonna ride back. So we should get there about what, 12, one, two, three, about three. Then I have time to check in my bags, do all that good old stuff. And um, yeah, then I probably got like a two hour wait before my flight go, cause I fly out 7.15, so, but yeah. But they'll be coming soon, come to get me. And I'll be on a plane all night. Oh, and I do I do have a layover like in Houston again. Like just two hours though. Wish it was longer. So I can run to AT and T there and get my SIM card. Cause I lost my SIM card, y'all. Yay, high five. Alright, but just wanna let y'all know the toast stuff is um toast and rice work. And I just um will let y'all know when I am home. Like three days later, kind of like always. No, I let y'all know when I'm home. All right, love you all.
way she's gonna make no video, y'all. But I'm tired. I'm about to give me a bagel. But y'all, Costa Rica Airport is very pretty. But they ain't got no little escalator uh walker machines, the lanes. They tripping. <laughs> well, I'm just lazy. <laughs> Look at that view, y'all. From the airport. That is gorgeous. 